upstairs to get a few words with legendary Liverpool band cast. Hey guys, great to meet you. Do you mean that? Yeah. <laughs> you are at the start of your summer tour. Just tour is how you are. Um, it's, well, it's only day one. Yeah. So we're not tired yet. Not yet, no. I mean, everything tires you know. I don't know if you do it all the time, but. No, we, 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 the vigour, the life, the effervescence life on the road, no. We still love it. I was just going to say, we love, the vigor. We love performing, don't we? Yeah. That's why, otherwise, we really wouldn't do it. Do you prefer playing to audiences like this, or at this venue, or open air music festivals? Any audience will do, as long yeah. as there's one. <laughs> One or two, <laughs> and, all, and, dog, and, and a dog in the background. Yeah, yeah. The key being an audience is the word. If there's an audience, then we perform. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's just, you know what I mean? That's Daytime, that's nighttime. Do you know yeah. what? It's all fun. It's I like fun. it outside when the wind is blowing. I like it inside when it's raining. There you go. When Cass first came onto the scene, you grew in popularity very quickly. Did that take you by surprise? Yes. Surprisingly, no. Really? Well, we were working on it behind the scenes, really, I, so it wasn't it quick. Didn't, look, it didn't take me by surprise, because I, I honestly thought it was all going to happen preordained, like... His mum told him. Yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm surprised that we, you know, that we're not bigger than we are. <laughs> surprised we're still here. But is that, is, the camera's far away, is that why? How far away is that? No, I was not, I'm not surprised by anything, really. It takes a lot to surprise me, surprisingly. Surprise, surprise. You no, know, it's just like keep things open, don't you? Well, I mean, anything can happen, like. You have now recorded six studio albums. Is there a seventh on the horizon? Yes, it's on the horizon. No, it is, yeah, I'm working on songs. We're going to demo, demo them soon, hopefully, that's the idea. I mean, are we going to record this year? That was the plan, I think, but I, uh, I don't physically will we it have happen. To just see I don't know, happens, but there is yeah. a new album, Defo. <clears throat> the, the, you know, it's crossed, the, it's, back, it's over now. The, the tipping points, there's more good ideas than there isn't, and there's a, a kind of feel for an album. So the answer is yeah. According to Google, the top three cast songs are Walk Away, Fine Time, and Guiding Star. Would you agree with that? Ooh. I think they missed one of the smashes the there. Yeah. I haven't got any favourite songs, but Walk Away, I think, would be deemed our most well known track, yeah. so I can't argue with that. You said fine time. Fine time's very popular, like you know, Garden and it was our first, popular. and it was our first hit. So I, I mean, it could have been Garden Star. It could have been Live the Dream. Live the Dream's a favourite of mine, but all right, it's still, I mean, there's a lot of good songs. So at least, yeah, three will do, isn't it? Three's a nice number. Holy Trinity. What would your top three be? What would my top three be? Yeah. Oh, anyways. Well, yeah, yeah I just. I like, what's weird, I like Live the Dream, but I like all right, I like them all, you know, for their, for their own different little nuances and characters. They all have their own character yeah. traits. Yeah, you know. Sometimes, it, performing live is different to, to listening on the radio. Yeah. Actually, so, I have favourite tra tracks that are live, that, that seem to work live really well. And, and on the radio, sometimes you hear a song and go, well, you know, actually flying sounds amazing, or, you know, I did, an, I did a little radio session with um, Alan McGee on Boogaloo Records. Uh, and he played the loads, he went, you know, did an interview and he played loads of tracks, which I had not heard. He, well, yeah, in the show he was playing loads of cast tracks, obviously. And um, it was just like, wow, to hear them all back. There's a lot of great songs, like, without realising the things I've, you know, I haven't really listened back to them on, the, on record or, or through the radio for so long, you know. Um, so, so there was a lot, there was a lot. I was quite impressed with the band's back catalogue, actually. Timmy, kicking up the dust as a departure from the old, old cast style, all change, millennial calls, etc. Is this style going forward? Is this style going forward? Um, it's not, I think the next, I think all, uh, kicking up the dust was a bunch of songs that really what it was about was unifying the fact that the band were, were, were here. I think we started off with a couple of ideas to do an EP you know, and then it kind of rolled with that, and then really the idea of doing an album, and I think doing an album for the band, for the band to kind of say to each other, you know, hey, we're a band, you know, we've just done an album, to kind of reunify us and reconnect us and make us feel like... Yeah, that we, you know what I mean? It. it was fun doing You've it. got to record a record, and... So that's what, what Kicking Up The Dust was about. I think it, it, the, the songs came from all different directions, and so did the recording. We were all, you know, it wasn't one big session, it was all different bits and bobs. I'm hoping that the next album will have a, more of a fixed kind of 
ideal or continuity to it. Although obviously it's cast, it's so it's kicking up the dust worked anyway. You know because it's it's us playing the songs and we bring a certain trait to how we perform them songs. Definitely. Yeah, and it's also Definitely time, that yeah, time frame, and yeah. it, if you're in the place for one go, yeah. then it will be something else. Yeah, okay. yeah, but I think what it is, I think this one, I didn't have a cast album when I started kicking up the dust. A lot of that was kind of bits and bobs were written and old ideas were brought forth and Great things album. like that, you know, whereas I think the next one will be a, it'll be like, hey, I've got, you know, a bunch of songs that are already kind of done, there will be a kind of... A shape for it and they will you know so I think it'll have a bit more I'm hoping it's going to be the best thing we've ever done <laughs> that's the idea isn't it to always keep wanting to, to kind of write that record I still think cast have got got a record to make which could do you know uh, that, uh, we've still got a record to make we've made some great records but there's still one to make I think the country album. The country album. God damn it. <laughs> Gpa. The Brexit blues. Yeah, yeah. There's another one. Yeah. That's three. There you go. Yeah. The rap album. Yeah. <laughs> the muckle rap album. <laughs> Hip hop album. Yeah. Space hopping. Genre. Hip hop um, genre. Which song do you like to play live the most? Well, I love All Right at the end, because it means I know I've got through the gig all right. No, because it goes... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. all, right, all Right kicks in great, but there's a, actually... Freemies good as well. Freemies good, but live is different, is what I'm yeah, saying. Excellent. I mean, I love playing... Um, I, I love playing, I, I do love, you know, I'm very fond of, of performing live, you know. And walk Away has walk away some amazing great. moments. Live the Dream's great. Uh, there's a little moment where we play the acoustic. moments. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't have a favorite. I don't have a favorite, but all right, because the crowd knows the end as well, and we just come up and we, we hit them with that. It tends to go a little bit haywire. The crowd seems to kind of flippantly throw their the kind of um, reservations in the air and just get stuck in, and we do as well because we, you know, it's kind of coming to the, the knockout punch. Um, yeah, history is a great song to play live. Yeah. It's for a different reason altogether, but. They all, some of them are softer, some of them are slower, some of them are well known, some of them are less known, but they all have something. And, and, and I think the thing about live and, and the show is, is the journey, is it's like it's a journey really. You know, you can't just start, you know, at the top. There's only one way to go then, isn't it? So you, you slowly build it towards a, a, a crescendo. I, I think it depends with each yeah. game. And each bird cage at Isle of Wight, yeah, yeah. which was. Yeah, I think I really that also me. that's an individual. That's 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 a personal preference. Yeah, everyone might perform playing a certain song because it might be like just like a favourite lick that they, they play, or mm. some songs have a great little bit of vocal or a bit something that I kind of enjoy singing. Whether it's the best song in the set or not, I don't know. Yeah, it's so there's no real you know. What band or artist would you say has been inspirations cast? As performers, I think in the early days we, we were influenced by the Who, definitely. of course. Um, Erasia. Erasia. Erasia's instrument, yeah. Yeah, all of that, you know. Um, I think it would be guitar. I mean, there's lots of good folk bands and blues and all that, you know. We're all into our own personal music. But a band, obviously, I, I think growing up in Liverpool, you know, the Beatles and the Stones, the Who and all that. For me, Captain Beefheart. But there's loads of great music. Yeah, but I think we were definitely turned on by the Who's live dynamics when we was when we were doing All Change, and even now when we perform certain yeah. songs, there's a, there's a certain energy that only certain bands have, uh, and and you capture that live, you know. And you're lucky enough to have a bit of it rubbed off on you. Yeah, we, we, there's yeah. a bit of punk and rock and roll going on, you know, and, and it's high energy. You can still perform with a high energy. To you know, at certain certain parts of the show, you know, and uh, it still kind of takes me back a bit. Really, it's kind of like we've still got it. Like, even got it more than we ever had it. Sometimes, yeah, yeah. You know, the band perform weirdly or not better than they'd ever did. Sometimes, you know, it's weird. Sometimes bands see all kind of hitting me stride just as just you know just as I'm 
Just going home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, God, it's not shit. You know. Bus pass. As I'm just getting too old for it, I'm just hitting my stride. Sometimes bands see audience members holding signs asking if they can perform a certain song with you. Mm. Has this ever happened to you guys? I never have yeah, even glasses on, so I never can't see nothing. Sometimes they ask, can they announce, can they get married on Keys! stage? Keys! Play! Drums! <laughs> Properly! <laughs> In time! Can you... <laughs> Keith, you drummer! Yeah. Signs! People who hold up signs are strange. Unless they're demonstrating. There you go. Can I ask? Is it a sign? I don't know. Go on. Was it a sign? Of things to come. <laughs> Can I ask, do you have anything interesting on your riders these days? Um, yeah, KP, salt and vinegar peanuts. That's but, cool. uh, but once you start, that's it. It's that's Keith, Keith's a, a salted nut man. I like nuts. Do we have anything weird? Not in like, you know, there's a bit of vegan food going down. People used to think that was weird. Yeah. And vegetarian food. People used to think that was weird. It's not anymore, is no, it? No, it's not now. So what else? Is there anything weird? Nah. Just food, drinks, Drink. soft drinks, yeah. uh, nothing, nothing to... Uh, lizards. Yeah. Lizards on a stick. <laughs> Who are each of you listening to at the moment? Oh, Musically? Yeah. I'll have to do Keith's thing. Oh, and Fowl's new album's quite good. Your which I've been listening to. Keith listens to their Fowl's, there you go. I like the word Fowl's because I like young horses. So I don't listen to music at the moment. No, I'm. Um, don't I don't really. The only music I'm listening to. I'll have to have a look at me playlist. So <laughs> I listen to a lot of old music, really. Yeah. Like I'm like really kind of quite old. New Orleans jazz at the moment. So, and like you know. Although we have had Maple, John Martin, Bar- Early Marley. Obviously, I still listen to all the music. I, I love M- modern music. Modern music. Oh, um, battles as well. Have modern you music. You mean <laughs> he's on the pulse. You mean battles. what the kids are listening yeah. to? The doors oh. I always go back to. Yeah. I have Radio Three on in the house, and and and, 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 and my vinyl I put on, or what? I play my own music while I'm writing. I'm trying to write music. Me. Uh, Paul McCartney ran as well, which oh. I went back to oh. this week, which has been amazing. Good. There you go. You know, we used to spend a lot of time together. Too yeah. long, actually. Not too long. Not enough. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> What's your most memorable moment that you would like to share? Oh my god. I can't. don't get I can't. I, can't I could share. honestly. I'm Keith could, but I can't. Go on for uh, Memorable part. moments. Yeah, I mean, there's loads. I mean, you mean we played to some big audiences. That was memorable. We did this. That was memorable. Yeah, we did loads of it. That was memorable. You know, nothing to nothing with none to kind of. Well, I can't remember none of it. These can't. So I'm (laughs) I'm in the clear. I don't remember mine, but but it's all honestly, it's it's all personal. It's all pretty memorable. Have you ever considered bringing a Christmas song out? Jesus, we, we could do it with Magic Didn't you get asked to one, write one once? I, I, no, I, I did think of a Christmas song once. Is it once. possible yeah. to write a cool Christmas song? You just put, you, you, no, you write a slow song with, jing, with bells it's on the back of it. Yeah, no, I can remember having a little idea, I'd completely forgotten what it was now, but for about a year it was in the back of my head. I was thinking, this would be a great Christmas song, like. Uh, you can do it. I I'll, I'll go pen it with you. And nobody, yeah, you. <laughs> yeah, I'll wear the suit. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, I don't. It's funny because that was such a big thing when I was young. People don't do it anymore. Yeah. Really. They just go to wear Only me. on Christmas Day or something. Like the shops don't even close or, you know, yeah. And talk of one of Santa's helpers. There it is. There he Our is. boss. Okay. Go ahead, then we've got another one of <clears> him. <throat> So we're at the end of the interview. Would you like to say something to your audience or plug something right now? Just feel free. Yeah. Um, well, it's been nice knowing you. Wouldn't want to be here. Thanks for sticking with us. Oh yeah, great. Fantastic home. 
Hello and welcome back to Tyler's podcast. Today we've got a brilliant interview coming up with Les J Bandcast. But first of all, here's Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses. <laughs> 